Dexter, New Blood, Episode 3. Let's begin. BAM! So, I'm gonna spoil a lot of things from the first, second episode, and I'm not gonna spoil a lot of things from this episode, just, you know, general ideas. So, if you know what happened in the first episode and the second episode, this is the spoiler, uh, he kills the first guy, and the second episode is kind of rectifying that kill, because it's been so long for the character since he killed, it's, he's been absent for so long, and I love that detail. You know, it, it wasn't like, oh, well, we pick off from where we left off, you know, it's just back to normal. No, there is like a curve, like the, the sword, the sharp serial killer that was Dexter. It, there is a dulling in that edge. And I love that they showed it in this like new setting. You know what I mean? So he is spending this entire like episode just trying to find ways to get rid of the body because there is a lot of manhunt, people trying to notice, people trying to figure out what is going on and there is so many things that he needs to do to hide the body, to be undiscovered that you kind of find out that hiding a body is not that easy. Back when he was living in Miami, all he had to do was just drive his boat, find a spot in the lake or in the ocean and just drop it. And that's it. But in this episode, he kind of spends his entire time figuring out ways, places so he can get rid of a body, you know? Not like you can just drop it in a lake because someone might stumble upon it. Or you can't just dump it somewhere, then they would know that forensic this that this that so there's a lot of what to do with this and that's kind of like the theme of this episode uh, with that being said i've seen a lot of old dexter traits you know what i mean juggling uh his real self which is a serial killer on the hunt on the calmness of the kill on the i am dexter darkness you know the whole insanity of him but also balancing this facade of his this uh, manufactured happy person you know and uh, although he shows it in the show like damn it i just want to be left alone you can see the spark in his eyes that he longs for that like uh, distortion in his life that everything is out of whack because every time he says something like I just want peace then stop killing people and just sit by the lake or something and I'll stop bitching about oh, I just want peace I just want to oh my god why do those things happen to me well because you kind of manufacture this whole thing so they happen you know so yeah um, one other thing I loved about this episode again Deborah Morgan this actress right here this angel okay this angel of an actress okay I know some of you are like oh my god she wasn't that good suck a dick motherfucker okay like a big fat juicy dick like dipped in vinegar and then like sauteed with a lot of fucking spices so as it goes down your throat you choke and <clears throat> inhale it a little bit further because that girl the way she acts out okay that was a little bit too graphic you know a little bit too graphic but I, I'm gonna keep it there because seriously that girl is such an amazing actress I love her in this show I love her she is my favorite character of Dexter I said it before in my reviews I'll say it again I'll keep saying it I love that character and I love that she asked a question that was kind of like in the mind of every viewer which is when he was thinking to himself like I need to find a place that is permanent something uh, that cannot be discovered a long-term solution and she asks what do you mean long term are you planning on killing again which is that question is this like a, a one-time thing and all your season is gonna be focused on how to get away with it or is this the return of Dexter the return of the serial killer the return of the monster the return of that Oh, <laughs> that that guy we all loved and uh, of course he's gonna return because as we saw in the previous episodes there's this new serial killer who hunts girls who does this weird things he locks them in a room and he observes them for a while and so we know what is gonna happen eventually and now Dexter is just gonna do his thing and there's gonna be a lot of 
well, Dexter, you know? So yeah, uh, that question being asked by her through him is just beautiful because it actually like intrigues you. It's kind of like, uh, so what's your plan? Is this a one-time thing? Are you gonna do it again? What is your plan, Dexter? What are you gonna do? I love that. Uh, we saw more of Harry Morgan. You can see a little bit of Dexter in him. I love that too. There's a lot of things in this episode and you know what? I'm not gonna do episode by episode review for the show because I just wanna accumulate like three or four episodes together so I can just jumble them all together because so far it's kind of not a lot of meat in this episode you know like action wise he's just trying to cover his track in a way uh, so I'm just gonna like hold off until like the fifth episode you know like mid-season then I do a review on most of it and then come back to it so I just don't tell you okay so this is the new development that happened and uh, back in the first episode uh, so I don't have to bore you with everything until like I can discuss a full thing yeah I'm gonna do it but so far that's my review for the third episode loved it excited for the fourth one it's gonna drop in 11 hours you know give or take and uh, yeah thanks for watching exit that way Doses.